Hi, I'm Marco Ramondo with R Washers, washmart.com. And we're here in Kima, Texas. We completed a pressure washer build for a customer here in Houston, Texas. And we have a 16 by seven tandem axle trailer. It's the customer actually provided it for us and then we assembled his assembly. What we have here is uh, three DHRA 5300 hose reels. This is gonna be 200 feet of pressure hose that goes to his Siamese cold water units, which I'll show you here shortly. And this is gonna go for his garden hose. This is gonna be two wire, 6,000 PSI rated hose, 150 foot for his hot water unit. This is gonna be the dump valve to get rid of your water. That's gonna be in this 525 gallon water tank. We use galvanized straps. These are a lot more sturdy. They're a little bit more expensive, but this tank is not going anywhere with these galvanized straps. Galvanized is also more resistant to bleach than using a carbon steel strap. So what we have here on the bottom is water that goes to, on a three-way, this water goes to the soft wash system. This water goes to the two cold water units that are both rated for four gallons a minute. And this 5 8 goes to our five and a half gallon per minute, 3,500 PSI pressure washer. This is going to be a 135 gallon soap tank. It's going to be intended for carrying bleach for our customers. This is going to be a 3,500 PSI, five and a half gallon a minute, 12 volt burner pressure pro. It's gonna have a general pump. I believe this is gonna be the same as the TS 2021. It's a very popular pump with the Honda GX 390. It's gonna have a 17 amp alternating charging system, which is barely enough to power this ADC vacuum burner. We have a Comet P36 pump. It's a diaphragm pump rated for 150 PSI at 9.6 gallons per minute. It comes with a gear reduction box and then it comes with the Kohler SH225 rated for 6.5 horsepower Kohler engine. And we have something very unique about this. We have this to where it actually is fed by a proportioning system, a metering system. Gas powered systems have issues because they generally, well not generally, they always have a bypass. And what happens is the bypass dumps your solution back into your soap tank. So you can't actually meter how much of a mix that you're having to go on your house or, or a roof wash mix. Well, with this system, we have a metering valve that siphons. This is gonna be for your surfactant. This is gonna be for your sodium hypochlorite. This is gonna be for your water. And what this does, is it makes it to where you can meter it. With 12 volt and air diaphragm systems, it's a lot more simple to do this. With, these sim with this system, it is not. Uh, but we have it rigged to where it does work, and this will be getting launched to our customer tomorrow, or today actually, and we tested this equipment yesterday, it all works. This right here is going to be, oh, let me go back. this is gonna be a Titan 18 inch, it's gonna be a stainless steel Titan reel with, uh, this is gonna be called the U-channel version on washmart.com, it's gonna be called the 4818S, and then this is gonna be 200 feet of half inch ag hose rated for 500 psi. I recommend ag hose over garden hose or fuel hose. I've seen some people use fuel hose, fuel hose. It degrades from the bleach over time, which is the reason why you have to use this agricultural hose that was originally intended for uh, pest control lawn spraying. Uh, don't go over 200 feet on that hose, by the way, so you will lose a significant amount of pressure when you do that. Uh, and then we have a pretty simple trigger gun that comes with this. Uh, it's complimentary with the machine. It's a Sutner uh, ST510. It comes with a quarter inch coupler. We have a bushing on the inside and then we have what we call a J-Rod. A lot of people know these as a J-Rod where you have your four different tips. I guess for the video we can go ahead and show how this thing looks whenever it runs.
right, so that's it for that soft wash system. And then this customer had two 3,500 PSI at four gallon per minute belt driven machines that were from their previous vendor. And we attached a Siamese kit uh, where it merges these two machines together. And then we have it to where you have two smaller four gallon a minute machines running together, running at eight gallons a minute. And you're able to push this 28 inch whisper wash, which we have with the four tip spray bar. There are four tips that are all 25 degree at 20 orifice. Those tips work very well for 3,500 at eight. That's what we recommend with this 28 inch whenever you're running eight gallons a minute. And that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, message me on Facebook, leave us a message he here and visit us at washmart.com or washers.com. And I thank you for watching the video.